welcome to my channel. Today we are going to be accomplishing a sleek ponytail on short 4C hair. On hand I have a big wide tooth comb, a dimming brush, a fine bristle toothbrush. That'll make sense in just a second. A rat tail comb with a metal end. gel and this is the flaxseed one it's the black castor and flaxseed oil one main choice daily moisturizer care care edge control my spray bottle this spray bottle has even conditioner and water in it this oil mixture has tea tree coconut vitamin E and wild growth lightweight oil now I'm just going to use my fingers to section my hair into four sections I'm going to do two ponytails in the front one ponytail in the middle which is the bulkiest part of my hair and then I have one section left in the back I'm gonna go through with my oil and moisturizer. I'm gonna do this to each section, making sure that the hair is properly hydrated before applying the gel so it won't look flaky when it all dries into place. And I'm gonna use my dimming brush to pull those hairs into place. This allows it to detangle it and put it in place at the same time. Going through doing the same thing with the next section, and then I'm going to just add that hair to the ponytail and basically just repeat the process all the way through until you get all the hair gathered together. Now with the front of my hair, I'm going to use that rail tail comb with the metal end to section out my part. I'm not the best parter, so it's gonna take me a couple of tries to get it reasonably straight, but that's why I like using the one with the metal end. If you're not really good at getting straight parts, using a comb with that metal end would definitely make the process easier for you. Now I'm just going through repeating that same process, moisturizing, detangling, and adding the hair into the ponytail the same way I did with the back of my hair. I'm gonna take smaller sections in the front because this is the part that people can see the most. And I have my spray bottle on hand because my hair has become a little more dry now and I need it to be damp so that it takes the gel better.
Okay, now that we have all those hairs reasonably placed, we're going to go in with our edge control around the perimeter of our hair. I like to do this step just to add a little bit more of a sleekness to it. I find that this care care really works well on my edges. Um, I know some people relax their edges from time to time, but this works pretty well for me without having to relax my edges. Notice that I'm pushing this product through with the rat tail comb instead of the dimming brush. This is just going to help me secure all those hairs that may have not laid well enough with the gel. And the comb itself is going to give it more of a sleek look. Just an extra step. Now, because I have a very sparse or thin hairline, I'm going to go in with this firm bristle toothbrush and gather up some of those hairs in the front and lay them down. Not necessarily forming baby hairs, but just, again, another step to ensure that we catch all the hair possible. Now we're going to do something that may seem a little crazy, but it'll make sense in just a second. I'm going to put three scarves on my head. This first one is to essentially lay down all the hairs across the front and bind those edges down. Then I'm going to go in with a second scarf to lay down the back of my hair. And then I'm going to go in with a third scarf to lay down the middle of my hair. If I were going to sleep overnight, I probably would only do one for the front and one for the back. But I'm going to get dressed and go out today. So I'm just going to wear these three scarves around the house for like 20 minutes. And this is going to help my hair hurry up and lay down and dry into place. So now I'm going to take all my scarves off and see what we have cooking underneath. This was sitting for about 20 minutes and I think it's pretty good. It's still a little wet, but all the hairs are in place. Just going to take an elastic band and put my little ponytail into a puff. And I'm going to add this drawstring ponytail. This is a Freetress ponytail. I'll put the link for it down below. It has two clip pins and a jawstring and I'm just going to attach that to my ponytail wrap the extra string around and we are going to secure it with some bobby pins another quick tip if you are adding a puff to your ponytail is to wash the puff in some cold water don't scrub it but pull the shampoo through it and then let it dry this will allow it to look more natural and less plasticky And there you have it, my ponytail. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.